So first stop right now. I didn't put on the chest mount because I'm still wearing a jacket. My chest mount's still broken, and the other um, the other chest mount I opened or bought still has not arrived. Um, I also ordered a hat mount, and the reason why I ordered a hat mount is because I had a lot of people from the pallet video say I should wear a hat mount um, or put you guys on a tripod. So I'll tell well. I'll let the tripod thing slide because there's a reason why I don't use a tripod. Um, one of the reasons actually why I don't use a tripod is because I am using a GoPro and you need a special attachment. It's not like a normal tripod for this camera. The next reason why I kind of don't use like put you guys down for those videos is because there's microphones on the bottom of this. So if those microphones get covered, the audio gets muffled. So I don't really like putting you guys down like on a box to do this. As you guys probably hear right now, the audio is probably pretty good. And that's because I'm holding it in a way where the camera, uh, camera microphones are not getting covered. So that's why I do it kind of the way I do it. I will have the chest mount on later. Um, I'm kind of worried about the head mount because the head mount's kind of farther away from my mouth and maybe the brim of my hat might uh, might muffle the sound of it. Got here. I don't know what this is. I thought this was almost an active gear. It's like a porta potty, I think, for a kid. This stuff is soaked. Those are. Uh, probably take this guy just down here. This is kind of cool. Oh, it's battery operated. Water and batteries. They don't work, work too well. There's no charger that goes to it. Unless it's a USB one. It's made by Jetson. I think Jetson's a good brand. Tim, we've been through this battle once before. But then again, it's wet. So. I don't know how that would go into anything. I bet this thing is really expensive. But it might not work. Alright. Um. Put you guys down and grab this one guy. Just more metal. Camera's soaking wet right now. Oh well. I think I mentioned a while back. Now we haven't found a lot of grills, or I should say washing machines. I switched gloves. These gloves are also hard as a rock because I guess they got wet whenever they got wet. I'm trying to even remember the last time I used these gloves and or when the last time it rained like it's raining right now. This one looks like a beast. That's not too bad. Not too good, not too bad. So I think this is the motor. How do we get this bad boy off is the question. This one looks a little bit different. I don't know if these just, maybe just a couple bolts. I might have to try that.
a lot of plastic there. That is actually, that's considered light iron, even though it has all that plastic, but um, that's, that's fine. Um, that's kind of heavy. I, want, I, I have a feeling I'm going to go through a lot of gloves today. That or I should just sacrifice one pair and just throw them in the dryer at the end of the day and just have wet hands throughout the rest of this episode. That might be the way to go. All right, we're now in the afternoon shift. Been about four hours since the last video. I should have taken apart that washing machine or at least tried to get the motor off, but I mean, it has been pouring here. Uh, unfortunately, the windshield wipers don't have a lot of settings. So you saw that's that. Well, this is the one setting, the second to highest. And then you go one up and then it's this. There's no in between the two. And it's like, that's a little overkill. And then the other one's a little bit too, too slow. So trying to find a happy medium here. Ford, figure it out, get it together. Let's find some treasure. Afternoon shift. Don't take the day off just cause it's raining. We gotta find some treasure. All right, maybe I should put my hood up. Although you can't see it. The chest mount's on, jacket's off. Wow, that is very soft. Anyway, it's, uh, oh wow, I match. I can feel like a Teletubby or something. It's, it's interesting. Free twin day bed. It's probably, by the time this dries out, it's gonna be very rusty. Like what do you even, like what do you do with this? Like, I mean, this will definitely rust. stuck in the leaves. Like this, this bed is not made to be wet. It's obviously indoors. Almost giving me flashbacks to uh, auction season. Every once in a while you go to a state auction and someone will think that the bed frame outside is great decoration. Whether or not you do or don't, that's up to you. I don't, you know, it's not my forte, but that's up to you. And uh, because of that, there'll usually be one up for sale, which may or may not sell for like two dollars. All right, last piece. I also apologize if at any time there ends up being like a water drop on the camera. I'm currently not seeing what the camera is recording or see the front of the camera because I'm wearing a chest mount. So I would uh, would not know if there's a, a water spot, but I try my best to always make sure to wipe down the front before the next clip. That way, if for some reason there is one, it's gone. And uh won't ruin the next uh next pick. This is gonna kind of stink because man. I think that piece of wood's the top of this. Maybe. No, that's definitely not. Maybe it is. I don't know. That doesn't look like it actually goes to it. This I think we can do something with. Now put a new piece of wood over it. It's kind of cool little stand. Probably should put that back like how it was. I don't know if that went to it. It's almost like they put it there so that it would go with it, but it could have been like just there before. Or it's all garbage to put out at the same time, but it didn't look right when I was laying on it. Anyway, Alright, I feel like I'm parked literally in the middle of the road, but I didn't want to be parked in this freaking ditch. Now what the heck are all these bottles? That's what I figured they were. They're all the same. Oh, that was a good try. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, that's one heck of a chandelier. I don't know what 
those are. Those are like pillows. Those are metal. That's really a cool chandelier. Freaking funky. Like super monkey ball. Some of you guys might on that reference. Some of you guys are probably like, what the heck are you talking about? Yep, this will get my gloves soaking wet. Like, I just felt the uh, my right glove just increasingly get sloppier and sloppier. Yep, it's seeping through. Now, leave it better than how you found it. Somebody's probably yelling at me to grab that container, but I have thousands of containers, I feel like. I have so many bins now, it's ridiculous. It's almost like, what do I do with them? Because first off, they take up a lot of space when they're when they're empty and you can only fit certain kind of items in them if I want to sell them they take up so much space at the flea market and then do you bring them empty or do you bring them with stuff in it because then you have to bring stuff back if you don't sell it so then you can't really sell the bin it's a whole fiasco in itself but I have a lot of bins and containers this wind this rain figure it out wipers baby stuff pretty sure they had baby stuff out last last year or last time i was through this area here we got some ladder back chairs oh, man why is there not two of those that side table is kind of cool but i can't do anything with just one side table that's just not going to sell unless it's really really cool but i don't know if that classifies as really really cool Anyone needs a artificial Christmas tree? I guess that is for uh, for free. It's actually not in bad shape. The bottom row is a little raggedy, but the rest of it's not too bad. It's clean too. It's got just got washed off. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that wraps it up here. Okay. This thing is a disaster. I I was thinking like. Yeah, you gotta buy it. This is something new. It's not, I mean, it's cool, but it ain't, it ain't some mid-century antique Victorian looking chandelier. It is cool, though. I gotta say, it's, it's different than most that I find. Let's put that back over there. So, um, huh, I guess this is what we grabbed. I guess it wasn't even that many stops. Quite interesting, right? Got some metal, so I got stuff that has to go to the scrapyard. I think I might even take some of those wheels off that bicycle tomorrow. The front wheel looks a lot easier than the back wheel. In fact, the person who buys the wheels off me said they'd need smaller wheels because to hit the larger wheels is very, very common and they're pretty much everywhere. Especially at flea markets, if you're selling just wheels, it's very easy to pick them up, whereas the smaller ones are a little bit more difficult. But uh, I guess tomorrow will be a scrap day. We'll see how um, we'll see how it turns out. I might also go trash picking out in the morning, so I'll wake up a little bit earlier. I have a couple eBay orders I packed up yesterday, um, as well as this morning, so I'll bring that out um, in the morning. And then if I make any more sales for the rest of today, maybe I'll try to pack it up. It's going to get dark here very shortly, uh, but just not a lot of people had their trash out. The weather really hindered things, and uh, I went down all the same roads, all the same towns, and it just it's just one of those days, just. The rain is keeping people away. So, uh, must have kept the competition away, but it didn't keep me away. We found some things. Thanks for tagging along for another wonderful treasure hunt. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll be doing more trash picking adventures just like this in the future through the rest of this year. Hopefully, keeping the streak alive for the rest of December. And, of course, catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.